So welcome to the hip and knee. This is one of my favorite places to start. I think after the spine, this will seem underwhelming. So that's good news because you'll feel like, oh, this isn't so bad after all. The hip and knee, I think, are the two most straightforward joints we have in our body. The knee being a hinge joint, the hip being a ball and socket, gives us a really great idea of how the rest of the joints in the body are gonna work. I always start with the hip and knee before I go to shoulder and elbow, mostly because of the shoulder. The shoulder is also a ball and socket joint, but a lot more complex than the hip. So, because it doesn't quite have the socket that the hip has, and we'll talk about that when we get to the shoulder as well. So but the hip joint is this, we talk specifically about this area where the femur, the head of the femur inserts into the acetabulum. So one of the most important structures of the hip is the labrum. So the labrum is this fibrocartilaginous ring around the rim of the acetabulum. And the job of the labrum is to, I like to think of it as the suction cup. So it kind of sucks the hip, head of the hip into the socket and holds it there. So it's this nice, soft, sucky <laughs> structure, fibrocartilage, that holds it in place, right? So again, fibrocartilaginous, and in the spine, right, that's kind of analogous to the discs. So it, um, the other interesting thing is the angle of the neck of the femur can vary, and so it would cause somebody to have different access to different movements, so, and different alignment down the leg. So that's just interesting to note that not everybody has exactly the same angle of the neck of that femur. So capsule, we talked about, and when we talked in general in our first lecture, we talked about the capsules being around all joints. So the hip has its capsule. It attaches all the way around the rim of the acetabulum and to the base of the femoral neck. So you can see that here. It's reinforced by ligaments. So the iliofemoral ligament, okay, let me talk about the ones that are here, sorry. Ischiofemoral ligament is this one right here, from the ischium to the femur. We have the pubofemoral ligament here. And then let me show you where the iliofemoral ligament is from the ilia to the femur. There we go, that now it's highlighted. The iliofemoral ligament right here. So those are our main ligaments that hold, that create that capsule for the hip. Okay, so this is rectus femoris. You can see it in flexion of the hip. You can see how it crosses the knee joint as a tendon over the patella, over the kneecap, and the hip joint here. So it's kind of nice to see it in action that way. So rectus femoris is gonna be one of our primary hip flexors, and it's also gonna be a knee extender.